reflection I am my own disease Okay, so today I'm going to do a requested tutorial about using the cookie cutter effect. Um, I've had several requests on how to do this. As you can see, I have my Sony Vegas open and I've picked two pictures to use. I'm not going to use video to show you because pictures is easier to use on, or learn on. Um, so I have two pictures right now and as you can see, right here, there's two different video tracks. You can also place it on the text track if you need to, but I prefer video and video overlay. You want to move it so that they match up like this. And right now you can only see one picture, but you know that the other one's underneath it. Um, so you would go to cookie cutter, and I'm going to do the side by side effect. Um, you can do this by just going to reset none, clicking it and dragging it onto the first one, and then clicking oval side and then you can drag it over here and we're gonna make it so that this is 16 by 9 widescreen so that you can actually see Taylor and then we'll go back to this and we are gonna edit this one so that you can see him on the other side so it's not that far over and then you can make it as wide or as small as you want it to be. That looks good. And then if you don't want this curved angle right here, all you have to do is, it's Y, not X. You're going to go Y all the way. And then your size just depends on what size you want it to be. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can feather it so that it's not as seeable. You can have a border if you want. I prefer no border. And then you can do it cut away all section, cut away all butt section, but for this particular one it's cut away all butt section. Um, if you, you can also do circles, ovals, you can do pretty much anything you want with it. And if you have a certain effect that you've seen on a video with cookie cutter that you want me to do, I'd be happy to do it. Just let me know. And another thing is people always ask is how to make it look like the video or the pictures are scrolling up and down from each other so I'll do that really fast you want to open event pan crop down here and once you have that open say you want it to you want the picture to start here and you want it to scroll up you would place it where you want right here and see this is clicked you want to drag this arrow down to the end and move it up to where you want it to end and then you would drag that to the end and make sure this is at the beginning and then so it would look like this. And if you want this one to scroll too, but you want it to go up and then down, you would go up and drag this down and make it go down. So then it would look like this. And that's your tutorial. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. The next tutorials that are coming up are some requested colorings, how to render your video in HD, and how to render your video in widescreen. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if it's not working for you, leave me a comment, message me on Tattered Tutorials. Yeah,